Hey, what is up, my dudes? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Discovering MTG. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, tap a notification bell, and at the end of this video, if you want to, go ahead and leave me a like or a comment. Today, in the spirit of the Blister Booster Packs, I hunted down one of these on good old eBay, and I'm so excited to open it for you guys on the channel today. So I just received this the other day from good old USPS first class package. And looks like uh, we got this package here. And then I noticed, man, like this thing, it got torn open or something, but like it's not fully open. So it's still, it's still sealed. But uh, yeah, man, look at that. So it must've gotten ripped or something along the lines. I'm not sure how. And then I went ahead and whited out all the information that you guys don't need to know because we're here for the goods inside. As much as I love you guys, I don't want you guys coming to my house or hunting down those people that I buy my MTG from. So without further ado, let's get up my good old trusty sharp combat knife. Boom, look at that. That thing is sharp, man. Mm, slice right into it right there. Oh my god. Did I just slice my playmat? My exclusive limited playmat? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry All right, it'll be fine We'll be all right. Hey, okay So I can't believe I actually hunted one of these down Get rid of the garbage there because that is now trash We've got ourselves one of these. Do you guys remember this product? Whenever you go to that local Target, that Walmart, before people started stealing them and abusing them, man, I remember this product and people used to walk past these. MTG players would only use these and return them after pulling out all the good cards. And MJ Holdings, man, they said, you know what, that's enough of it. And they pulled back all of their product from Walmarts and they still actually uh, you know work with targets because target security um, anti-theft measures are are a little bit more um, I guess uh, you know paid more attention to and and it's I'm sure it's harder to steal from Target than it is at Walmart because there's so much going on at Walmart I'm sure they don't care about the third-party vendors taking up their real estate over there and the hooligans that come in and you know, do whatever shenanigans they need to do with them MTG cards, and, and not not to mention the Yu-Gi-Oh, the yu -Gi -Oh and the the Pokemon, the Pokemon cards over there with uh, all them action figures, those Walking Dead action figures. So you guys know what I'm talking about. But MJ Holdings, and I think there's a couple other brands that actually do products like this, and they do like these blister packs um, where you have like three random, like I guess this would be Pioneer now, wouldn't it? Yep, because that looks like a pack of BFC. And that looks like a core set and another core set. But we're about to find out. I'm not sure what's actually inside. It says that there's two promos. I'm so used to the ones with one promo, like the, um, what was that one from Aether Revolt? The green one. It, it was like a Hydra. Um, and you like get like the, 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 eighth, the energy counters and then you can give it like hexproof and plus two plus two or something like that. But, um, yeah, going back to this product, man. MJ Holdings, they're the ones who, uh, yeah, says it right there. MJ Holding Company, LLC. And um, this was uh, packaged in 2016. So not too long ago, but long enough to, you know, I guess forget about it. Because, uh, yeah, man, they, they have long since uh, removed these from all retail stores, man. Or they're all sold out. If you guys see these still at your retail store, then I'm assuming that you're probably not in such a busy city where I live in a, a city that never sleeps, man. And, you know, there's so many people here. You know, if you go to the next town over, you, you would never know the people there because in each town we have our own little, like, shopping district area and you know you go to the next ex exit they've got their own shopping district area but enough about you know life and whatever we're, we're here for the cards we're here for the goods so uh yeah we've got this blister booster pack and man this is this is a uh, I'm sure in your guys' memory more recent than the other vintage or legacy or modern boosters that you know I've been cracking on the channel 
And um, we're just gonna take a little uh, intermission here and um, you know, just, just enjoy this newer blister and take a break from the older vintage blisters. So I don't even think I need my knife. What am I doing here? I love that knife so much. I just, I use it for everything. I carry it everywhere I go. I just want to poke stuff, slice things open as much as I could just tear it with my fingers. You know what? We're just going to, I'm just going to show you. Boom. Look at that. My trusty knife. I love my knife. Think about giving it a name. What do you guys think I should name my knife? Let's name it. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I'm not. I'm not that witty. I can't think off the top of my head. Some witty like that. Okay. So. Oh. What? Okay. So we got Oath of the Gatewatch and two promos. I'm just gonna set these to the side right there. We got a Tarka World Render. It's five colorless and gruel colors. Legendary creature, dragon, flying trample, six four. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, it gains double strike until end of turn. Her hunger knows no limit. Left unchecked, she would feast on all of Tarkir. Man, that's one hungry chick right there. That's like me at a buffet. Man, I, I, dude, I will go back for fourths, fifths, and sixths, and I will eat to oblivion till, till I pass out. So, uh, yep, you got that promo stamp right there, and then you got that promo symbol. Nice little promo shooting star with all that foliage. I don't think this is worth too much, but um, who cares? It's cool. And then I guess this is a promo? What is that? It's a promo planes? What set is that? Martina Pesarova, 2010? I don't know, that's gotta be from like a dual decks or something? Hmm, 2010. So I guess the uh, two bonus cards, it doesn't say two promo cards, so I don't feel like I got gypped because they technically didn't say two promo cards. Um, I was expecting two promo cards, but nonetheless, I digress. Okay, so Oath of the Gay Watch. Oh, and that, that booster pack's flipped backwards. We got Oath of the Gay Watch. Chance at a um, expedition. Oh, yep, yeah, we got a core set, 2015 core set, and an Origins pack. So, all right, uh, we'll open this one last. We'll start with the Magic Origins right here. Yeah, not really sure what I can pull out of this. I know there's some Planeswalkers. Um, just go through the commons. Negate. Nice. That's pretty decent. A Disperse. Ooh, these, these cards, man. I gotta smell it. Mmm. Yep. Alright, so we got our first uncommon. We got Zendikar Incarnate. We got an Angel's Tomb. An Eye Blight Massacre. And for our rare mythic, boom, we got an Abbot of Carol Keep. One colorless, one red creature, human monk, two one body with prowess. An Abbot of Carol Keep enters ETBs. Exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card. That's yeah, okay. Oh, what? No way! Oh my god! We got a Liliana Heretical Healer Mythic! Oh my gosh! And it's foil too! And this is a flip card! Holy crap! One colorless, two black, legendary creature, human cleric, two three body with lifelink. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, exile Liliana Heretical Healer, then return her to the battlefield, transform under her owner's control. If you do, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield. I think I just got my money back. I, I I don't know. I'm going to check up the prices and I'll throw it down at the bottom right here for you guys to see. And it flips to Liliana Defiant Necromancer. Dude, I was not expecting crud from this pack. And I swear to God, I, I knew there was those flip planeswalkers in here. And then I, I know Jace is really sought after right now for um like EDH and Pioneer, but... Wow, that is that is an epic hit. Out of a blister booster pack. Man, you, you gotta love it. So Lilian Defiant Necromancer, Planeswalker Liliana 3 loyalty, 
For plus two, as each player discards a card or neg X as return target non-legendary creature card with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to your battlefield. And her neg eight, if you can get it there, you get an emblem with whenever a creature dies, return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. That is freaking dope. Oh my gosh, guys. You, you know, and this is why, this is exactly why I love to just, you know, record for you guys. Um, because, you know, no one would ever believe me if I made hits like this, you know, with my lone self in my room, in my office. We got a Thop and Thopter and a Forest. That is super dope, man. That, what an epic hit. Um, we'll just move this stuff to the side. We'll keep that right there with the rare. All right, next, let's do, uh, let's do 2015 corset. Cause I'm, I'm feeling these, these corsets now. Uh, I haven't really m opened much of 2015 corset. As a matter of fact, uh, probably less than a handful of packs. We got that. Ooh, look at that guy, man. Titanic growth. Necromancer's assistant. Evolving Wilds. This card haunts me everywhere I go. Or is it is it me? Or have, have any of you guys noticed it's reprinted in like every single set? Because it's it's just a must in standard the standard format. Alright, we got our first uncommon. We got Paragon of Fierce Defiance. A heat ray. That's dope. I like the art on that. Got a Warden of the Beyond. He's got his, his sphere of light there, just like, he's like heavy petting that sphere of light. Nice, and we got an Aether Spouts. Three colorless, two blue. It's an instant for each attacking creature, its owner, for each, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. can't even speak here. Oh my God, for each attacking creature, its owner puts it on top or bottom of his or her library. Okay, don't worry, there's plenty for everyone. Vicon, 11th Company Battle Mage. Wow, that's a lot of companies. Alright, and we got a mountain and a nice advertisement for MTGO. Heck yes, alright, Aether Spouts. Never heard of that card, but now I have, because it's one of the most difficult cards ever to read for me. Anyways, Oath of the Gatewatch. Can we get, ooh, that pack opened up nicely. Look at that, you guys see that? Bro, I, I have an expedition in me, bro. All right, en enough funny play. All right. So packs like that, if they can open up nicely, uh, guys, just be careful, you know, because there are people out there that look for packs like that and then they repack the pack and then seal them back up with glue or some sort of adhesive. Dazzling Reflection, Umara Entangler, Brute Strength, Zillaport Chain Mage, Saddleback Lagak, Corpse Churn, Spawnbinder Mage, Ascender Hellion, Unknown Shores, oh wow, that's cool. Look at that art, that is pretty dope. By Jung Park, probably Korean. We got a sweep away. And our first uncommon, we got Harvester Troll. Dude, that guy is looking freaking grimy as all heck, man. Thuggish, ruggish. Walker of the Waste. Oh yeah, Eldrazi's are in here. A Storm Chaser Mage. That guy. He's like, yeah, look at my electricity. Oh, guys, watch out. I shock you. I jing, I shock you. All right. Oh, nice. And we hit another mythic. We got a world breaker, six colorless and a green. It's a creature Eldrazi with Devoid. It's five, seven body. When you cast world breaker, exile target artifact, enchantment or land. And it's got reach for two colorless and waste. Sacrifice land, return world breaker from your graveyard to your man or from your graveyard to your hand. Nice, we hit another mythic. Two for two. Oh my gosh, and one of them spoiled. And it's a planeswalker, and we got Eldrazi Scion right there. That's cool. All right, well, hey guys, um, I've got lots more stuff coming up. 
I just recently went shopping online and at my LGS and I picked up some singles and also we're continuing the uh, vintage blisters uh, series they're not vintage boosters they're vintage blisters just to you know uh, clarify because those blisters are about 13 to 14 15 years old and um, in my opinion that's vintage so you know just to clarify guys there are older ones out there you know pre 2000 era but uh, yeah once you hit a booster pack that's around 2000 or 2001 or 2003 I'm sure that's a legacy pack and then once you get up closer to you know what is it like 2005 six seven uh, that's more modern style and then you know you you hit you hit um what is it uh, uh, what, what's that dragon's maze that that block you know then then you've got pioneer and then you're coming up you know to all the current sets uh, and then you hit standard but you know it could always uh, you know rotate some of the formats are non rotating so you know uh, everything that comes out just flows right into that format um, and continues uh, so yeah man uh, it looks like today was actually a boom this for sure right here was a boom um, I'm gonna look up the prices and I'll throw them in for you guys you got Liliana defiant necromancer as a planeswalker that flips from Liliana heretical healer and that is super sweet I've never seen these in foil I mean I've seen them you know played in EDH but not in foil like in super friends and then we hit another mythic. We got World Breaker. And then, uh, of course, that 2015 didn't really hit. And then we got Habit of Carol Keep, Aether Sprouts. Um, just want to say thanks, guys, for uh, tuning into my channel. Um, hope, hope you guys are doing good out there. And uh, stay safe. Peace.